Alright guys, so here is the rock I got. A few of the pieces are broken, but I guess it is what it is. These are a little bit bigger than I thought they were going to be, so I'd probably end up breaking them. Except for this one. I want to I wanna utilize that. That's pretty cool. This is a uh, Caribsea Life Rock. If you're not familiar with that, it is man-made rock, 100%. So they do have an artificial look to them. So they look like live rock, but they are not. 100% dry. I think more people are gonna go eco-friendly like that. I know they banned a lot of uh, live rock imports and everything trying to save the coral reefs, which I'm all for, so that's really cool. I knew I wanted to go with a man-made rock anyway. There's some that are really freaking expensive, and this, the life rock itself, it was, it's a 20 pound box, and it's called Shapes. So it's, they're supposed to come with several different things. Like this one's supposed to be like a cave kind of deal, even though it broke. It still kind of looks like a cave. And then they have the different arches like that. You can kind of see. It's a 20 pound box and it was a hundred bucks. So I think for live rock, it's about the same thing. I got one piece of live rock from the fish store today and it was $20 for a two pound piece. Yeah, so I uh, I drew on this thing. I'm using this as the tank setup so I can kind of build the rocks on this. We can kind of see like how tall I can go. This isn't the exact tank dimensions. I put how tall I wanted to go because the, the return valves are basically right above this line that I drew. So I'm gonna build the rocks here and then glue certain pieces together and then transfer them to the tank Add the sand, put the water back in, then it's start. I also have Kayan, she is gonna help me. She's off camera right now. She still has a busted knee, but I figured she could be a part of the, uh, the building process because this is the bones of the tank. I also got this stuff from the uh, local fish store. It's called Coral Crete. <sighs> so it's just an epoxy, uh, it's like a putty. So you just put it in between there and then let it dry. It says it can dry submerged in water or just out of water within 24 hours. So I figured I'll get it to where it's holding together and then try to transfer everything to the tank and just see what happens. Once it's in, it ain't freaking changing. Okay guys, I think this is what we came up with. I know everybody has their own opinion about aquascaping and all that stuff, but I'm just trying to utilize as much space as I can. But we got big open cave. It's pretty much what this one is gonna be, I feel like. So there's probably gonna be a lot of times where we don't see the animals that we have in here, but big massive open swimming spot and then this side so looking at it from this side you can see that cave straight through but right here there's nothing I'm a little iffy about everything but I think I'm gonna leave these as like little islands and looking at it from this side yeah yep all right cool so I also put the live rock piece back here in the back doesn't really matter it wasn't like the the best piece of rock to use the only issue i see with it is like we plan on getting shrimp there may be some fish that like to hide whatever but there's a uh, back in here it goes pretty far back that's a deep cave so i feel like when we get shrimp they're just gonna stay back there and we'll probably never see them until feeding time <laughs> Either way, I think that is how we're gonna have it. Now I need to glue some pieces together and then I'll start transferring some pieces to the tank. All right, I gotta remember how everything's going on here. This left side is actually gonna be the easiest. Yeah. 
guess it was just right there. But I could probably shift this way a little bit so I can get to the glass on both sides easily. need to figure out where this one went because this one I just don't remember at all. But I feel like that was the front, right? It was on top, like the top top from the, that piece, the bottom piece. Oh, like that? Yeah, because you were going to put that one piece on that. Piece Ooh, thing. yeah, that just locked right in. So like that. We just had this little piece left right here to kind of bring everything together. How did it go? It's actually a lot more open right here than I thought it was. But I guess that's fine. I mean, we've got swimming room. Okay, that's it. Yep. Okay, this is gonna be, yep. That's messy. Okay, one pause. <laughs> Pausing. There was probably easier ways to do it, which I'm sure everybody will, you know, leave a comment about it. Also, in case you were wondering, yes, there is water still left in here, but I also ran out of containers to hold the water, and I didn't want to have to waste salt water. Also, this is the uh, Arag Alive Live Sand. Um, this is the Indo-Pacific Black. If you're asking yourself, why did he go with that one? Because I can't. But they come with this biomagnet clarifier. It's supposed to clear up the cloudy water faster. So I'll probably use that. All right, so there is a tiny bit of water in there. I need to add the rest, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys the rock and everything before we get the water in there. And I know it's like the sand's uneven right here. There's quite a bit in the front. I'll probably have to even everything out after I get the water in there and it clears up and everything kind of settles. All right guys, so that is it. Uh, the tank is currently below you. <laughs> uh, the water's really cloudy and everything, so I'm not gonna turn on the pumps until everything kind of settles, just so I can prevent all of that stuff getting mixed around in the back. So after everything is settled, I need to go and just kind of level out all the sand, make sure everything's good to go. I think that was pretty much it. I started messing around with the lights a little bit, so I think I'm gonna make that the next video. I'll kind of go over the lights and the app and just show how it works while we're waiting on the tank to cycle because it's gonna take a little while. But yeah, I think before that, I'm actually gonna wait for these to come out so I can get some responses about the protein skimmer because I'm still not 100% sure about that. So anyway, hope you guys liked this video. I hope you liked my aquascaping. It's always difficult. I've only done it a couple times, but every time it's just like, you want it to be perfect, but there's no perfect and I don't know. So this one's just, it's kind of interesting because the left side is really open. Hopefully we don't have too many hiding spots. So again, um, this is kind of new for our channel. If you guys are into the fish tank thing or if you're just now checking out our channel, please subscribe. There's gonna be plenty more videos of this fish tank as it continues to grow. Guess I'll see you in the next one. These are honestly bigger than I thought they were going to be. I understand. We all need to recharge once in a while.
That's Siri. <laughs> this is a very prominent one. <laughs> Just... <laughs> I've never heard a dog fart so much before. I, I hope the camera picked it up. If you guys heard that, that's my dog Lily farting. Ooh, got the light for a reason. It didn't work. Keep it going. No. Damn it. Come on. Just work with me now. This is garbage. Blah. Why? Why will you not just go? Why is it waiting so long? Blah. Okay, where was that packet? Do not open with mouth. Okay. All right, so yeah. Um, I guess that is it for this one. And I will see you guys in the next one. Nope, I don't like it.